Um, okay, now I answer the question how many ways God speak to us. Okay, najibu Mungu usungumza kwa njia ngapi? Many ways. Njia nyingi. Uh, the most often way that God uses speaking to our hearts. Njia rahisi ambayo Mungu usungumza kwa mioyo yetu. And all Christians have that. Every born again Christian has that. Na kila Mkristo ambaye ameokoka ana hiyo. The first voice we hear is that God speak to us about our sins. Jambo la kwanza Mungu uongea nasi, Mungu anazungumzia dhambi. When we are born again, when we sin, we feel guilty. Ikiwa tumeokoka, tukitenda dhambi, yaani unahukumika. And God will, you know, God speak to us uh, to remind us of our sin, to bring us to repentance. Na Mungu anazungumza nasi ili kutukumbusha dhambi zetu. So that's the first voice of God. Hiyo ndiyo sauti ya kwanza ya Mungu. And then the Holy Spirit also speak to us when we hear the uh, messages or read the Bible, the God will speak to us to to obey God, to follow God. Na pia Mungu atazungumza nasi ili tupate kumtii Mungu. Later. Okay. So, um, <coughs> when we read the Bible, the, the Holy Spirit will remind us of what we should do. Tunaposoma Biblia, Roho nini, Roho Mtakatifu atatukumbusha kile cha kufanya. Or when we listen to a message tukisikiza ujumbe and also in our daily life God will speak to us too hata pia katika maisha yetu ya kila siku Mungu ataongea nasi sometimes when we are washing dishes when we are walking when we are doing other things hata saa zingine wakati unaosha vyombo wakati unalima wakati unatembea now in uh, Philippians chapter 2 verse 13 you can write this down wa Filipo mlango wa pili mstari wa 13 wa Filipo mlango wa pili mstari wa 13 andika chini It says that it is God who works in us to will and to do his perfect will according to his perfect will Inasema kwamba Mungu ndio ufanya kazi yake ndani mwetu kulingana na mapenzi yake So when we make up our mind to follow God and when we obey God it's God moving in our hearts. Kwa hivyo tunapoamua ya kwamba tumfanyie Mungu kazi, huwa Mungu ndiye anatushawishi, anatembea ndani mwetu. But we also have a sinful nature working too. Lakini tuelewa ya kwamba sisi ni viumbe ambavyo vimesaliwa katika dhambi. When we sin, it is the work of our sinful nature. Tunapotenda dhambi ni ile sehemu ya ya Adamu ambayo iko ndani mwetu ndiye inafanya tunafanya dhambi. The more God, a person is close to God and obey God the more he will hear the voice of God. Mtu akiwa sana amejipeana kwa Mungu hapo ndipo mara nyingi utasikia sauti ya Mungu. And he really would want to follow God and obey God. Na inatakana tumfuate Mungu na tumtii Mungu. So um so when you notice oh I want to do evangelism I want to help people this is the voice of God unaposikia unaimizo ya kwamba nataka kufanya uinjilisti nataka kufanya kazi ya Mungu hiyo ndiyo sauti ya Mungu okay now God also speak to us in visions or dreams na Mungu pia hunena nasi kupitia kwa maono ama ndoto sometimes through the words of Christians and non-Christians pia anatuzungumzia kuhusu watu ambao hawajaokoka na wale ambao wameokoka even non-Christians God can use hata mtu ambaye hajaokoka pia Mungu anaweza kumtumia God can use them to remind us of our sins and our faults. Mungu pia anaweza kutumia wenye dhambi wale wa kukumbushe dhambi yako na mawazo yako. Or what, you know, sometimes even remind us of the blessings we get from people. Hata wengine wanaweza kukumbusha vile utapata baraka kutoka kwa watu. Sometimes you look at nature, God can speak to us too. Kwa hivyo unaweza angalia mazingira hali vile ilivyo, hiyo ni Mungu anayesungumza na wewe. Or when you are doing other things Suddenly God reminds us of certain thing we need to pay attention to. Ah, sa zingine hata tunapofanya vitu zingine, roho wa Mungu utukumbusha ama Mungu utukumbusha yale ya kufanya. Now, some people hear audible voice from God. Wengine wengine husikia sauti ya Mungu akiongea. That they will actually hear a voice. Na watasikia sauti ikiongea. 
So that's one way God speaks to us too. It's very important for us to discern whether whether a voice is from God or from ourselves or Satan. If we are more devoted to God, then we will hear more from God. If we, if a person has a lot of sin, he will, he might have thoughts, but his thoughts could be his sinful thoughts. Okay, okay. And people hearing a voice doesn't guarantee it's from God. It can be from Satan. It is very important that we really follow God faithfully and have a close relationship with Him. Then we can hear more from God. Thank you.